on guys welcome back we have a very special video today um, first time trying out my new Old Town Predator PDL this is uh, Old Town's pedal version this is the 13 foot this isn't the 10.6 uh, top water that they just came up with this is their uh, full-size pedal drive and I am super excited to uh, try this out today I've had my Old Town Predator MX which is a standard 12 foot for just about five years and uh, I love that thing. Um, about a year after I bought my uh, 12 foot, they came out with a pedal drive and uh, I've been itching ever since to uh, get one. And I finally pulled the trigger on it and I went with a red, as you can see. Um, what I'm gonna do today is just a very basic rundown of this kayak. And one thing that I really like about uh, Old Town, you know, all their Old Town canoes and kayaks is that they're made right here in Maine. Um, they're made in Old Town, Maine, which is about an hour north of where I live. You know, I always try to support U.S. whenever I can. And uh, even on top of that, I uh, try to support Maine as much as I can. So on top of this being, you know, an amazing fishing boat as is, um, it's even better that's made right here in Maine. So I certainly try to support them guys as much as I can. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a quick walk through. I'm gonna put it on the water for the first time and uh, see how it goes. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna uh, start right at the nose and we're gonna work our way all the way to the back. I'll show you guys um, the main highlights of this kayak. And like I said, this is uh, 13 feet, two inches long. It weighs about 117 pounds with a pedal drive. Um, I think it's 97 without the pedal drive. This is a single layer polyethylene kayak. So it's very, uh, very durable plastic. Um, the uh, hull of this kayak and uh, all of Old Town's kayaks have a lifetime warranty. The pedal drive is a uh, five year warranty. So a uh, pretty generous warranty with this uh, boat system here. Um, pretty much all the Predators have this built in handle here. It doesn't have like an external handle. It just has this handle that you can grab here. Uh, moving up is uh, their waterproof hatch here. Click that to unlock it, open it, and it kind of has this rubber gasket which seals around this lip. And uh, this is waterproof storage. It comes with a battery box um, in case you want to run a fish finder. Um, so there's a ton of storage in there. Just push that down, lock it. Uh, one thing I love about these Predators is they have six removable plates. They have two up front, one here, one here, two on the sides and two back here kind of get my shadow and there's two back here um, i like these because you don't have to drill under the hull as much um, so i just find them really handy you can put all your accessories on there from fish finder mounts to paddle mounts to rod holders to um, you know trolley anchors anything you want to put on there you can just screw into these plates and uh and you can unscrew these and replace them and uh, they do have some tracks also that you can put on here. All right, so back to the pedal drive. This is the pedal drive unit. And what I really like about this is it's locked in right now. All you do is just move the locks, one on each side, and this pedal drive comes right out. It's that easy, it takes about two seconds. And they do make a four model uh, plug that you can just plug that in case you don't want to use the uh, pedal drive for some reason. But that's as easy as that. You know, and these just turn and lock just like that when the uh, pedal drives in. And to get it back in, you just do the opposite. Set it in the grooves right there. Drop it down, and it rests down there in that cup there. And just lock these in. Sorry, that was right in the way on that one. Just lock these in. And that's where it stays, unless you want to take it out. Um, again, it docks right there on that docking station. Hopefully you can see that okay. And in this has an integrated six inch waterproof hatch system. Let's give that a, a quarter turn or half turn and uh, waterproof storage. I don't think I'll be storing too much in there. You know, where this is going to be floor level, you know, it's going to catch a lot of water, you know, maybe going on top of it. So if I plan on doing any waterproof storing in there, I'll probably have an extra waterproof bag. The good thing with the uh, Predator's PDL drive is it's instant forward and instant reverse. So you can just pedal forward, pedal backwards. You don't have to pull a knob, you don't have to pull a lever. Um, if you're going forward and you want to slow down, you can just back pedal um, and it'll slow your momentum down. So I think what I'm gonna do is just move on. I'll show you guys how this drops down once I uh, actually get in the kayak and uh, start pedaling it. But we're gonna move our way down to the seat 
Oh, and actually before we go to the seat, it has these storage pockets here on the side. Pretty generous storage pockets here that you can put some pliers. Um, you can put little tackle boxes in there. You could have a little waterproof box in there. Uh, so then we're just handy little storage uh, things right there. Um, so moving on is uh, the seat. Very comfortable seat. This is the same seat I have in my Predator MX. And this thing is like sitting in a lazy boy. Um, it's adjustable here. You pull both of these up and this seat will slide back and forth on this track. Um, it has this little mini storage here for flat boxes. Um, and it has pretty generous uh, under seat storage. This is a big box that I put my spinner baits in. And I have more than enough room to store that under my seat. So next thing has these integrated side handles which are really uh, really handy and the next thing is this built-in paddle slash rod holder just put your paddle or your rod right there in this groove and bungee it down so that's one paddle storage they do have built-in screws here where you can put another plastic one on uh, it came with it but I haven't put it on yet so we have another dry hatch here so unlock this go straight down in it. I know you're getting a glare, but uh, there's some storage there. And the seat has this little mesh pocket. You know, if you want to put like a water bottle or like a jacket or something, you can put something there. And now uh, the seat straps down with these straps. This boat came standard with two flush mount rod holders, one on each side. And again, the plates here um, came with this bungee system which uh, was already pretty much pre-installed when I got it. Uh, another thing I really like about these Predators is their scupper system. All the Old Town Predators come with these one-way valve scupper plugs. So water comes into your kayak and uh, can drain out these one-way scuppers. Um, it has this nice rubber O-ring so it sits really snug in the uh, scupper hole. And that really just helps keep your deck um, dry when you're fishing and it comes to, like with this pre-molded non-slip flooring which is pretty nice so the next thing is I'll show you guys the rudder system so this is the rudder just unsnap that see if I can get this all in one shot so you just lift this lever and you can see the rudder back there is going up with it it's very effortless um, that rudder goes up and uh, down like it's nothing. The mechanics of that is fantastic. It's very quick, very easy. Um, there's no resistance on it. And I'll show you guys how to steer this. The steering on this is also very easy. Um, we have this knob here that you turn. So you turn left, turn right, and you see the rudder turning back there. And this is supposed to turn really well for a 13 foot kayak, so I'm excited to see how this is going to turn. Alright, so going back to the front of the boat, I forgot to mention, this has an in-hull transducer. I'm going to take the, the dry boat real quick. This has an in-hull transducer right here. I'll flip the kayak in a minute. I have a scupper in there just so water don't come in. You can do a uh, in-hull. You can bring the, uh, the fish finder right up this way, um, which is easy access to the battery box here. So let's see the best way to flip this. All right, so here's the in-hull transducer. So this will fit a uh, wide range of uh, transducers. And uh, there's also another one on the back here. And there's the other mount system there if you want your mount on the back of your kayak. So that's basically all the components of this. As you can see, I just have a basic crate. This is what I had on my uh, MX version. And I've only had this kayak a little less than a week, so I haven't had time to do anything to it. But that's the basics of it. Um, from nose to tail, you know, that's basically what the kayak comes with. So I want to talk a little bit about my plans for this kayak. Um, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys have known that I don't do a ton of stuff um, with my Predator MX. It's uh, pretty basic. And uh, I weren't sure what I was planning on doing with this kayak, but I've decided I'm going to put some upgrades on it. Um, one upgrade is I got a Hummingbird Helix 7 
This is their side imaging GPS chirrup unit. This is gonna be a big step for me. I mean, not only with kayak fishing, just fishing in general. Um, I think I've had a fish finder on my channel, I don't know, maybe two or three times, and it was more or less just checking depth um, fishing a lake, but I don't do fish finders much. This is gonna be a big step for me overall. And what my plan is, I got this ram mount. So thinking the ram mount's gonna go right here. Fish finder's gonna be facing me this way. I'm probably gonna mount my transducer on the back. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the battery yet, but that's one thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get that Helix 7 on this, hopefully within the next couple weeks. Um, I'm gonna put on a anchor trolley system. Um, that's kind of standard. I'm gonna try to rig up a nice uh, box for the back. I wanna get away from the crate. I wanna go to like a nice uh, folding box style crate back here. And I forgot to mention, it does have this recess cutout. You can, you can put a, a, a six or eight inch waterproof hat system here too. You just have to cut that out. I don't plan on doing that, but that's a uh, but that's an option. And no kayak review test would be uh, complete without a stability test. So right next to me here is uh, a channel. It doesn't look very deep, but it's probably, because we're so high, it's probably six feet deep in there. I probably wouldn't be able to touch. So we're gonna bring it out in that channel and uh, I'm gonna do a stability test. We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see how stable it is. All right, just like my uh, Predator MX, this thing is super stable. I'm about 5'8", 240, and uh, I'm rocking this thing right onto the side, and uh, it's not even acting like it wants to, to tip over. But we're gonna just do a quick, quick check of the, the paddle system. Going backwards, forwards, backwards. Yeah, that thing's pretty slick. Yeah, that works really well. All right, so I got my cameras all mounted up and uh, we're gonna head out for the maiden voyage. Okay, here we go. Should just have to pull down on this. All right, we're locked down. Rudders down, and off we go. So far, so good. And the life jacket does tend to want to ride up, so if you see me pushing it down, that's why, you know, with the thighs coming up, it is pushing the jacket up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, head under the bridge. We're gonna take this for a quick spin, see how it does. We have about 10 mile an hour winds, so It'll be a good test to see how this does in the wind. So far, there's no problem at all you know, against this 10 mile an hour headwind. Um, this is going, this is going really comfortably. They say this kayak can go uh, five and a half miles an hour. I didn't bring out my GPS. I'd planned on it, but I bet I'm going probably three miles an hour right now. Okay, we're gonna turn right. And this does put you in a little bit of a reclined position. Maybe I could tighten the straps up a little. Yeah, this is actually a little better. I guess that was my fault. I had my seat reclined too much. I'm gonna try going back a notch. So lift these two buttons, slide back. Yeah, that's more comfortable. That's much better. I just had my seat. Uh, set up wrong Yeah, that's much more comfortable So one thing that I really like about this kayak is uh, I'm fishing around a little bit and I'm in really shallow water and uh, I'm stuck on bottom right now So all you do is just unlock it Lift it up put it in its resting position, but so far that's really handy You know just one uh, one pop of that clip there and you can lift it up stow it and you know get it in a little shallower And when you want to take off again, you just drop it down Lock it in and you're off. This thing turns really well. I just had to do a pretty tight turn to get out from this log here. And uh, it turned fine. So I want to see how the instant reverse works. Uh, we're going just kind of an average clip. And we're going to go backwards. And just a few easy revolutions. 
and uh, pretty much stop the kayak. So that's really going to be a game changer with my type of fishing. It was that instant reverse feature. So far, I'm really liking this kayak. It's really working well. All right, that works. That's a good first time out. All right, so far, I'm really impressed. We're going to head back into the truck. So we are back home, guys. As you can see, um, I uploaded my footage from the uh, day and realized that the outro was really fuzzy and scratchy. I did a uh, quick outro before I headed home and I must have bumped a wire or something somewhere in the mix and uh, it was real fuzzy. So I'm just going to do a real quick outro. Um, the first outing with this was a uh, complete success. You know, I'm nothing but happy with this, uh, this kayak. I wish I would have went this route years ago. Um, overall, just really pleased with it. The only hiccup was the, uh, was the uh, seat. I had it reclined back a little too far. Once I pulled that forward, it was much more comfortable. Um, but overall, I'm just really excited to have this on board. Um, I can't wait to get the uh, the fish finder on it. Uh, I can't wait to get the trolley on it, and uh, I'll probably get some lights on it, you know, at some point. That's not a big priority, but uh, that's something I may do is uh, put some lights on it. But uh, overall, guys, I think it went great. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try my best to answer them. If you guys have a uh, Predator PDL and you want to share some of your experiences, um, feel free to share away. But we're gonna sign off for this one, guys, and we'll see you soon.